覚悟してろよ行くぜ Welcome to Werber Cuckoo's Reviews. I'm your host, Werber Cuckoo, and today we are looking at G.I. Joe Classified, Ripper and Buzzer. This is Ripper, and this is Buzzer. I remember this guy, and vaguely remember him from being a kid. They're part of the Dreadnoughts. I have two more Dreadnoughts, but I don't care to get them out right now until at least I get a fifth, because I just simply don't feel like knocking a whole bunch of Joes down. So, I'm going to start with the one I like the least, okay? And I got this guy for $9.00. I could not see myself paying the full $25 for this guy. And this is for Buzzer. If you don't, I'm not sure which one this is, it's Buzzer. Um, nothing against him, it's just he looks the most plain Jane out of every single G.I. Joe guy I've ever gotten. He looks the most plain. And yes, he has this little cool belt, some dog tags, and this grenade there for some weird, weird reason. He's got the knife. Uh, he's got a pistol with a some uh, tape on it, but he just looks so plain, and it didn't help when I got these glasses. I heard a lot of people complain about these glasses or goggles, and they are right, because you cannot get these suckers to stay on at all. His ears just are non-existent, so they don't really stay on. That's a problem. Um, they're wide, there's no ears to clip them on, there's no pegs. They really should have just gave him goggles that he can slide on. That would have been better than this because this just does not work. And we're going to see why it works for Ripper, but not Buzzer in a minute. Buzzer also has this baseball bat with this little uh, blade at the top, which is weird. Um, Negan, eat your heart out, I guess. And then this little slinging, slinging blade. It will have been much better if it was actually a real chain. I know the budget probably, but nice silver paint on it. So there's that. But he's just plain Jane. Um, I'm not going to really articulate this guy because you've seen one figure. You've seen them all. I mean, he's it's decent. But for me, even paying a $10 fee for him, if he was higher, I would never pay full price for him. I know he's part of the Dreadnoughts, but... He just does not do anything for me. So he gets a 6 out of 10 for me. 6 out of 10. Still better than any Marvel Legends. Well, still better than most Marvel Legends. But that's not saying a lot right now. Um, let's say, let's get to Ripper. Now him, he's got goggles, glasses on as well. But as you see, he's got more depth with his face. And the glasses stay right on. And then he's got these ears that are out. So the glasses kind of clip on there too. So there's like two, three points of... Uh, of, uh, of, of of storage, so that way he doesn't have to worry about things. Plus, he can hold every one of his weapons on him. Uh, Ripper can't do that. A buzzer can't do that. He's got this weird gun with a knife on it. Don't know how that works, but he's got it. He's got this uh, this rifle that um, assault rifle with a peg, so that way it can stay on the back. And I really like this, you know, because then he does not have to worry about having weapons on the ground. Like this guy over here. He's also got this really nice knife. Now that's a knife right there. That's a knife. I love this knife. So it goes right there. And um, he's got this gigantic like doohickey. It looks like an air dryer, like a, a blow dryer or not blow dryer. We call things to the um, a leaf blower. That's what it looks like with these things on it. What this is for, I do not know. I'm not sure why you would need this, but it's it's awesome to say the least. You move one side, it moves the other side. So those little ridges do work well. Looking at his face underneath, he's got the teardrop. So he's seen a loved one die, or he killed, killed someone, I guess. He's got the earrings, which look like razor blades. So that's awesome. Got some black uh, necklaces here with some razor blades on those. So... He's got a lot of character. Got this little bony piece here. And he's got him a fitness watch. You know, gotta stay active. I mean, you can't be buff like this for no reason. Then he's got some gold-plated, like, bands here. This dude is just awesome. I do see why a lot of people like this guy. Uh, I, don't like him as, I don't like him as much as others, but he's still a great figure. 
nice paint on him. Um, he's just done so much better than uh, my other guy. So, yeah, I like him better. So, I would give him out of 10 for what he is. I would give him a solid 9. Um, I think he's as good as you're going to get, really, for him. So, yeah. Thanks for watching this quick review. Until next time, peace and ripping buzzer grease.